Yo, how is it even possible to get that many arena points? Anyone in the competitive esports scene knows the organization FaZe Clan. In this video, we will dive into what FaZe Martaz, a member of the Notorious team, does to make himself so incredibly dominant. The skills demonstrated by Martaz in this video are sometimes hard to fully master. Make sure to check out our pro coaching service as well as our new VOD review system to get better quickly. Link can be found down below in the description. Let's dive right into what makes FaZe Martaz one of the most profound pros in the competitive Fortnite scene. The first thing that makes Martaz so incredibly dominant is his peace control. Peace control describes one's ability to place builds with speed and precision. When you have good peace control, you have very fast build speed and place builds with extreme precision. Someone that has bad peace control tends to either constantly misplace builds and has poor speed. In the case of Martaz, he has the best peace control in the entire scene, which is what allows him to dominate almost all of his fights. When you look at his movement, some would describe it as controller-like with how silky smooth it is. Although it appears that Martaz uses a low sensitivity by how controlled his movement and builds are, he actually uses a more moderate sensitivity. Let's break down an example of Martaz dominating in-game using his stellar peace control. This clip happens very fast, but the display of peace control by Martaz is remarkable. In this clip, we see Martaz land a 61 damage shot to his opponent. He immediately places a wall in front of himself, predicting his opponent's shot and effectively blocking it. But before his opponent could reset his wall, Martaz had the whereabouts to place a ramp in his box because he knew that his first shot broke his opponent's shield. He also knows his opponent is one shot to a purple pump. After sliding the ramp in his box, Martaz proceeds to place a ramp behind him to use it to ramp exploit into the opponent's box. Using the ramp to get in, Martaz simultaneously breaks the wall, propelling him into his opponent's box, edits his ramp, and finishes the kill all in what felt like a split second. The next aspect of Martaz's game that is super dominant is his centering. Centering refers to a player's ability to keep opponents in the middle of their screen where their crosshair is. This directly leads to high damage dealing pumps and overall very good aim with both shotguns and ARs. Martaz has insane centering. This is due to two main factors. First, his sensitivity, as stated earlier, Martaz plays on a 6% in game and 800 DPI, which is a fairly moderate sensitivity compared to high sensitivity players like NRG Benji Fishy and low sensitivity players like TSM Ferrando. Generally speaking, players in the moderate sensitivity range use it just for this reason. Moderate sensitivity allows players like Martaz to have very good aim and centering while not limiting them in the building category. When you challenge Martaz to a fight, you don't want to take an aim fight with him. His aim is bar none and if given the chance, he will likely land a 200 pump on you if you are in range. Here we have a handful of clips that showcase Martaz's raw aim domination. A player with his peace control and mechanics is nearly unstoppable with this kind of aim. If you need to work on your aim or centering, we have the best coaches on ProGuides.com who can help you get better on these subjects and many others super quickly. The link can be found down in the description below. The next aspect of Martaz's gameplay that makes him so dominant is his ability to predict opponents and outplay them. Martaz's understanding of in-game mechanics and use of items like crash pads and shockwave grenades is absolutely unmatched. Similar to Martaz's insane understanding of in-game mechanics, his ability to predict what his opponents are going to do in fights is another driving factor in his domination of fights. Martaz is often seen pre-firing opponents who are making an edit on him or straight up predicting his opponent's next play. Let's break down a fight in which Martaz simply outplays his opponent. In this clip, we see Martaz come across an enemy who is already in a box. Martaz checks his inventory and sees that he has crash pads. It's pretty common knowledge that you can use crash pads to exploit into your opponent's boxes with Martaz's superior in-game knowledge. He opts for a different approach. Instead of using the crash pad to exploit into his opponent's box, Martaz uses it to break the wall in front of the player and simultaneously shoots his opponent while replacing the wall in front of him with his own. Martaz then edits the wall, places a ramp into his opponent's box, and finishes the kill. Martaz's understanding and use of in-game mechanics single-handedly won him this fight. The final aspect of Martaz's playstyle that makes him so dominant is his extremely fast time to kill speed. Although this is a direct result of the three aspects listed above, it is truly what separates him in competitive modes. Time to kill refers to the amount of time that it takes a player to eliminate his opponent after engaging in the fight. Martaz's time to kill is absolutely impeccable. After he engages in a fight, Martaz does a handful of things to guarantee he finishes the fight as quickly as possible. The 
first thing he does is look at his inventory to see what he has. If he has a Stark Rifle, he often engages the fight from range, getting heavy tags on his opponent before closing the distance. If he has a regular AR and a purple or gold shotgun, he often waits to engage in the fight until he is close to his opponent. The next thing he considers is what utility he has and how he can use it to put himself at an advantage. If he has a crash pad as we saw before, he might use them to take a free shot on his opponent or get into their box. If he has something like shockwaves or bounce pads, he might use those to take height early in the fight. Next comes his aim. As discussed above, Martaz's aim is unmatched. He is either engaging in a fight with an AR beam or landing super heavy pumps. This is a huge perk when it comes to time to kill. Similar to this, his peace control allows him to precisely build an edit which startles his opponents, leaving them clueless as he lands his shots. The final reason Martaz's time to kill is so fast is his ability to protect his opponents. We already saw a couple clips of Martaz's predictability skills. It's absolutely incredible. Due to him being able to predict his opponents so easily, the fights he engages in get over very quickly a majority of the time. Let's watch a couple of clips that display this stellar time to kill ability. In this first clip, we see Martaz utilize a mythic item to exploit into his opponent's box, and then his stellar aim to settle in that lands a 200 pump. Next, Martaz once again utilizes his utility and flushes his opponent out with a shockwave grenade, recenters, and lands a finishing shot. Then we see Martaz put his predictability skills to work. He is able to place a wall, edit it, and cone his opponent off in the blink of an eye, eliminating him with a 200 damage pump shot. Finally, we see Martaz's peace control come into play. He gets a beat on his opponent and makes a layer change to put himself on height. He then pumps his opponent for 80, places a wall, and makes a swift edit play to finish him off. So now that we've gone over everything, let's do a quick recap. Firstly, Martaz's stellar peace control allows him to finish fights quickly along with his ability to never misplace builds. Second, Martaz's moderate sensitivity allows for his centering to be bar none which, with his incredible aim, results in a deadly combination. Third, Martaz's ability to predict his opponent's actions and overall outplay potential leads to many fights having a very short duration. Fourth, Martaz's time to kill is so fast he rarely gets third partied, increasing his chances of winning every fight without interruption. Overall, those are some of the tips that make FaZe Martaz one of the most dominant content creators around, and honestly, someone who can easily stack up against top tier competitive players as well. What players do you want to see us analyze next? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you never miss the next video. Alongside that, please make sure to check out ProGuys.com down below for more exclusive content and one-on-one -on -one coaching straight from the pros. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.